Here are two problems that gave us the most trouble on the homework. First one was from section 2.2 problem 7a. Susan was supposed to use five-fourths of a cup of butter in her recipe, but she only used three-fourths of a cup of butter. What fraction of the butter that she should have used did Susan actually use? Now, what we've got here on the picture is uh, a representation of five-fourths of a cup of butter. On the left-hand side we have one a representation of one stick of butter divided up into four equal size parts. And then on the right-hand side we have one-fourth of another cup of butter. And we're qu our question is what fraction of the butter that she should have used. Not what fraction of the cup, but what fraction of the butter that she should have used was our question. So our hole in this is going to be this yellow shaded part here. So this five-fourths of a cup, this is going to represent the whole of the butter that she should have used. So then the question is, if she only used three-fourths of a cup, that meant she used one, two, this isn't working too well, three, well, we'll pretend that this is working. Anyway, she used, tch, all right, fine. She used these three, and so she used, she used three, out of the five. So our answer is going to be three-fifths, not some other fraction. I'll just use my mouse. It seems to be working better. Okay, so she used three-fifths of the butter that she should have actually used. Okay, next question was in section 2.3, number 19a. First you poured three-fourths of a cup of water into an empty bowl. Then you scooped out a third of a cup of water. How much water is left in the bowl? And you want to make math drawings to help solve this problem. Well, here's a representation of three-fourths of a cup. We've got three blue parts that represents the water in there. And then there's the fourth of a cup that wasn't used. Now, we were, we, we don't have a common denominator. So we're going to divide this cup up into thirds also. Now if we just look straight across, one of these rows would represent one-third of a cup of water. And that takes one, two, three, four sections. So let's mark out four sections to represent the third of a cup that you scoop out. So how much water is left? Well, we have one, two, three, four, we have five sections that are left out of that entire cup of water. There were twelve sections in all, so we have five twelfths of a cup of water that is left in the bowl. 